All right, we're here on uh, one of our usual Monday meetups with Cliff Combat Medic Matheson. How y'all doing out there? Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so he's going to talk to us about a format that we've been playing pretty recently. This is Revise 40, but it's... Well, I guess I'll just let Cliff talk about his feelings about Revise 40 and kind of go... My feelings about there. Revise 40? Yeah. It's Freaking awesome! All right, now All right. What, what, what do you think about these like these imitator revised forty formats? Oh my gosh! Tell us so about that. Yeah. if you're sleeving up your revised forty deck, you're doing it wrong. Okay. okay? If you're not playing for anti. You're doing it wrong. You know, I get it. If you want to give your opponent the chance to deface your card, if you want to keep the card, that's cool. But I mean, unlimited soul ring, unlimited balance. I mean, it's so much fun. You know, <laughs> sure. and that, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about fun. Sure. So quickly, the rules though, just sure. in case you guys don't know. You want me to? Uh, yeah. So ten. Cards in addition to uh, basic lands. All right, so ten, ten, ten unique, unique cards. individual cards. So we got eleven unique cards total, mm -hmm. and typically in any deck. Uh, this deck, uh, mono white donuts. You know, we're rolling off the big O's, the soul ring, the millstone. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the format, the top tier decks are. The Ritual Twist, I mean, it destroys pretty much everything. Other bird coming in strong. Uh, we've got, you know, your your mono red bolts, uh, with some channel fire. <laughs> Mind <laughs> twist but bang! What's so cool about this format is not only do you just get to truly ripple shuffle unsleeved magic cards, play as many as you want, a lot of your favorite cards, but you know, when you're between games, you know, and you're waiting for a new opponent, a new match, this is something fun that you can just throw down really quick. If you have to cut it short, you know, no worries. But, sure, yeah. I mean, it well, I mean, definitely has a place. You're playing for anti, right? You got to finish your game, right? Yeah, I mean, well, anti yeah, yeah. Business, yeah, we can't cut that short. But the games are pretty quick, anyway. Yeah. In yeah. case you guys haven't figured that out yet, sure. but um, anyways, yeah, let me tell you about my brew here. Yeah, of course. So, um, you know, when we first started this format, uh, like I said, Mind Twist, Mono Red, very big. So I'm like, okay, what are some good answers to that? I feel like Millstone in a 40 card format like has to be good somehow, some way. And what was the best shell for it? I felt like White. White has so many answers. So uh, obviously the main heart of the deck, you want to get Soul Rings out, get early mana out. Millstone's kind of the late game, but balance so key. Like I learned tonight, played it against half a dozen decks. I could probably have another one or two balances, maybe cut kind of another Soul Ring Millstone. Uh, it's a great answer to Mind Twist. You know, you can top deck, get right back in the game. Uh, it's a great answer to a lot of the creature decks. Uh, you don't want to get run over by not rats, but Lord of Atlantis is the rat of Revised Oh well, yeah, Lord of Atlantis is good, yeah. I, I got it swung on by 3-5-5 five, five, Lord of Atlantis, <laughs> and it was like turn four, and yeah. I was gone. Uh, how, do you, so, how do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, I guess balance. Balance, you know, but I, the top deck didn't get there. Yeah. You know, Jamie and Tom, it feels kind of dirty doing it in this format, but uh, I mean, it was doing work for me tonight, so I think a miser one of those is always nice. Armageddon, again, just kind of a solid white card. You can like set your opponent back, sure. get, it, get rid of those black lands. Speaking of black lands, Fun Spice, Formus Bell, oh, and Revised. Okay. Against, against all those Mind Twist decks, is that yeah. the plan? It, exactly right. So, you know, get those swamps with summoning sickness. Uh, you can get them out with balance after that, or a Wrath of God, and just one side and just wipe their stuff. I assume this, this cop reds for those bolt decks. Those bolt decks, they're real. You know, you, yeah. I'm not going to roll more than one, but yeah. one, you know, I think it's very much worth it. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a fun deck. Holly Mine also just kind of contributes to that mill plan, you know, yeah. get a little card draw and a little recovery against the rack and ritual, um, which again, it's just it's a house in this format. But yeah. uh, I'm happy with the way the deck run. I got some great uh, altars from some uh, local beasts here. Yeah, so, so how's that working? So, uh... so yeah, the anti card, you know, if you want to just take it back and your opponent says, okay, that's fine. I get to, uh, you know, scribble all over the card, though. Sure. And so we get to have some fun flavor, you know, and it's a little reminder of the match. So, you know, this one, Channel Fireball got me. So, you know, he's like, get ball. Nice. Boom, Channel Fireball. Soul Ring, you know, he's like, well, Mind Twist 1, Shame and Tome 0. <laughs> You're Tome to not win. This one from, you know, yours truly, the director here, just like fantastic, Mike <laughs> yeah. and Morty or something. And then Lord of Atlantis, it kind of looks like Alien with a sphere going around this Oh, channel. nice. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, I just know that's the coolest disenchant I own, that's the coolest Millstone I own. I, I was actually confused for a second because uh, this, this makes me think of Library of Alexandria. Right? LOA. LOA. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't quite sure what happened, but yeah. now no. I understand. Yeah. Revised 40, Lord of Atlantis. It's, it's, yeah. it's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Right, so. That's awesome. Yeah, so, so that's the brew, and uh, yeah, hope to see uh, more creativity with this format. I think it's got a lot more potential than Alpha 40. I mean, I get it. Alpha cards are cool. Yeah. Like, we'd all love to shuffle it. 
But for all you going to NewCon or into that format, <laughs> Daniel Shane's going to run it for you all. I hope you've seen this deck. I hope you like turn zero losses, you know? And, yeah, sure. Uh, Daniel Chang's a dick! Enjoy trying to have fun with it. So, uh, if you want to have some fun, uh, go crazy with some cards that everyone can afford, at least most people. Uh, try with yeah. 40. Makes sense. Awesome. Well, alright. Thank you, Cliff. Appreciate it. <laughs>